if i look at you know uh, colleges the way they were designed is for students to come and get a job but the kind of education that the colleges could provide earlier is no more relevant today and that start from the very basics of what they are teaching and to how many students so for example today uh, nearly a million mechanical engineers would be coming out of the country whereas the need for mechanical engineers would be very less compared to what a software developer would be software developers are required in lakhs and lakhs some million software developers can easily be consumed every year and but the college system is simply not ready and that is where newton school you know comes into picture and make sure that we are like bringing about industry oriented education which is cheaper which takes less time and make sure that students come out job ready as neuron school has recently raised a fund of 25 million dollars and uh, we, were, we we are very interested to know what are the future plans or uh, future expansion plans rather of neuron school uh, thank you avintika and uh, yeah so neuron school has a lot of expansion plans and uh, this significant series b gives us a lot of firepower to take things forward in a much faster manner specifically we plan to invest a lot in our team build out a stellar team which can build out a 100 billion dollar company from here and a key part of that strategy will also be to go international so using this funds we'll be investing on in our team in our technology and also you know plans to go international launch in newton school internationally so with regard to that as the motto of newton school is to democratize the higher education so i am very keen to know if there is any development in the uh, you know rural sectors of the country uh, to fulfill that motto absolutely so what i am seeing is that uh, especially with newton school what we are seeing is that previously those students who were you know hindered through because of location barriers they were coming from rural areas or sometimes their parents won't allow them to go out and even the cost of living out is very high so if you are staying out outside of your home and some other city it takes nearly at 10000 rupees a month at least you know even to have a decent living standard so with these kind of cost it's what very prohibitive for a lot of people to you know uh, get into these kind of jobs with newton school we have been able to democratize uh, higher education a lot and by using our online university by studying in our online university people from even the remotest part of the country can come and just have if, if they have access to a, a computer and an internet they can learn and become software developers what we are also seeing is some of them are in fact you know getting completely remote jobs uh, and choosing to stay at their homes at their hometowns and thus enriching their economy as well right so uh, as the newton school report says that in 2020 it had no revenue and from zero revenue it has went to uh, like in 2021 it hit a 2 million dollar revenue generation so how did it happen what was the primary source and who led the uh, revenue generation yeah uh, so what happens is at newton school we have uh, for especially those who are just graduating out of college we have a unique very pay after placement model where students can pay only after they get the placements so when we started off our operations in late 2019 almost end of 2019 what happened is uh, our students started to enroll and only once they graduate which they started graduating in you know mid 2020 and end of 2020 then our revenue started coming in and that's why you saw a steep jump in revenue secondly we have designed a platform to scale uh, what happens at newton school is that we can take much more students and give all of them a very strong personalized learning path compared to what a college can do and that is why also we have been able to quickly scale up uh, from 1 million dollar revenues we will be soon going to 100 million dollar revenues uh, by the end of next year so that's the kind of projections that we have talking about placements uh, which are the sectors or which are the companies that are coming for placements in newton school or what kind of uh, jobs are being preferred by the students so students you generally prefer you know so it depends on student choice also but what we are seeing is that the top choice for students preference is front end development second is back end development and third is a full stack developer where they are doing both the things then there are other jobs like testing uh, also which students take up but for most majority of the newton school student uh these are the jobs that they take up over here and uh, these are also the most in demand technologies that we are seeing today and uh, in last fiscal year like how many number of students enrolled uh and what was the you know uh, year on year growth of students course yeah so in terms of number of students that enrolled in the last fiscal year it would be more than 2000 which is like more than 10 times the last to last year when it was around 200 Okay, and uh, uh, what is the key market that you are targeting for? Like, uh, be it a geographical market or be it a 
you know, uh, students coming from a particular background, what is the market type that you are targeting for? Absolutely. So at Newton School, we have been very laser focused on people who come from tier two and tier three backgrounds. So these students who could not get into the IITs and NITs of the world, could not get access to great education. These are the students that we want to focus on. So we pick only those students whose colleges either do not provide them good education or do not provide them good placements and very strongly focus on them. And these students have certain needs which are very different from, let's say, what a student from coming from IIT or privileged background comes from. Uh, these students lack confidence. They do not have direction. They do not get mentorship. Their peer learning is very weak. And Newton School supplements all of these, provides all these things to these students and make sure they come out as amazing software developers and get into the industry. Right. And uh, talking about people, uh, talking about students coming from the tier two and tier three cities, is there any scholarship opportunity that is also, uh, you know, given to the students? And uh, what are the courses that uh, is offered by Newton School? So basically, we have got two programs. One is an intensive pay after placement six months program, in which students can come and have to study for six months, but they'll have to give more time and put in a lot of hard work. This is usually designed for people those who are either in their final year of colleges or can do this program full time since it's a program in which they'll have to put in 30 to 40 hours. And this program is designed in such a way that students are first taught to you know, become a good developer, start their own earning, and then they pay, pay back their own fees. And what, what I've heard from students is that this is like best than any form, better than any form of scholarship that they receive from anywhere. Secondly, we have a master's degree program, which is for designed for non-tech working professionals, those who want to switch into tech jobs. And for them, uh, it's a one-year program where they can do it in part time along with the jobs now this program we offer scholarships up to 50000 rupees per student to meritorious uh, students over here so as we are talking about the tier 2 tier 3 cities and our favorite students do you think uh, in your opinion that uh, the edtech firms are really coming up to bridge the gap of digital divide in the nation absolutely i think edtech uh, edtechs have a very big potential as well as a very big responsibility to bridge this huge gap that's facing india and education system uh, the kind of population that we have, the kind of people who want are want to get into the workforce versus the resources that we have when it comes to education cannot simply be filled by traditional means of education. And that is where education places like a tech startups like Newton School come into the picture and provide uh, you know superior super quality of education to those who could not get it you know previously at much lower cost as well. So uh, does this course take place like uh, completely in online mode or there is offline mode uh, available as well? Yeah, so we have kept, uh, so this course takes place completely online and uh, this allows us to reach even the remotest part of the countries and reach people, those who could not have afforded to move to cities and, you know, uh, live near our centers. And thus we have kept it completely online. But at the same time, we make sure that our online products are such that students, those who would experience the kind of peer learning offline, they even experience it much better online in a very gamified form. So there's a very rich online community where students form friendships, they come on video calls and solve assignments with each other. They'll invite each other to each other parties. All of that is done. And the advantage of internet that is they can study at any time from anywhere is also available to them. Right, as uh, the next venture that we are talking about for the expansion plan, is there any new program or is there any new, you know, for language that the courses are being introduced to? So, is there any new plan uh, in that regard? Yeah, so one is like, you know, what we are planning is we'll have add more courses around Java and Spring Boot, because that's also big in big demand in, in uh, enterprises in India. And secondly, what we are also launching is a very flexible, uh, you know, uh, modules for enterprises where they can come and be part of this training. So it can be a co-develop co module where Newton School students are taking care of, uh, Newton School is taking care of the five to six months journey of the student. And then the companies are adding one to two months of uh, training on technologies that they want to add on to. So this is the kind of model which will allow companies to reduce cost of training and hire the best of students. At the same time, have the skills that they need uh, for the students too. And uh, I just asked you, as you focused on Java and, uh, you know, uh, the data, data analytic based courses. So there's a recent trend after the uh, post pandemic, there's this trend that students are going for the skill based courses more than the theoretical courses. So do you also uh, feel the same that uh, the national education policy has uh, some kind of alignment or inclination towards it, or uh, it is because of the job market demand that students are going for the skill based education? Yeah, I think national education policy has captured really well the sentiments of what the industry needs and what is actually needed from the higher education. 
i'll simply have to you know say very big thumbs up to the government for creating such a big uh, you know and right policy at the right time uh, at newton school what we believe is that fundamentally uh, if you want to get into jobs students are going for learning higher education or skills to get into jobs and if you want to get into jobs you need to make sure that you know the practical skills and that can be possible only when you are doing project based learning so at newton school we have a very strong emphasis on project based learning where our students are doing more than 50 projects during this span of learning at newton school right and what is the fee structure and what is the course structure uh, for say like oh, duration of the courses and the fee structure and stuff yeah so there are basically two programs right now one is a pay after placement model for those who have just graduated out of college or are seeking job full time and can give up to 40 hours a week every week for learning for them it's a six months long program where we teach them starting from fundamental of uh, data structures algorithms programming and making sure they learn the industry relevant skills like html css javascript react node js all these scripts which are all these skills which are very popular in the industry today second is a masters degree program which is for non tech working professionals those who are want to switch into tech but cannot give such amount of time for them it's uh, a masters degree program which costs nearly 2.5 lakh rupees and basically uh, what they learn over there are basics of programming data structures and algorithms and one of the skill specializations like front end development back end development or ai and machine learning Uh, so I'll just quickly wrap up with uh, one or two more questions. That uh, is there any future uh, collaboration that you are looking forward to with any other uh, ed tech or schools or any other company organizations? Yeah. So for the masters program, we already collab collaborate with. Uh, universities across the world to offer the best of academic education and couple that with newton schools uh, practical industry oriented education to give the best of uh, both worlds to uh, our students and we'll continue such partnerships with the best of indian universities as well as top uh, global universities in the world uh, any particular universities that you would like to mention yeah so we already have partnership with iu uh, in germany and mia digital university in spain and we are exploring partner with couple couple of uh, top indian institutes as well apart from all these any other information that you would like to share with financial express um so yeah i think you know so education sector is poised to for revolutionizing especially the higher education sector because what if i look if if i look at you know uh, colleges the way they were designed is for students to come and get a job but the kind of education that the colleges could provide earlier is no more relevant today and that start from the very basics of what they are teaching and to how many students so for example today uh, nearly a million mechanical engineers would be coming out of the country whereas the need for mechanical engineers would be very less compared to what a software developer would be software developers are required in lakhs and lakhs some million software developers can easily be consumed every year and but the college system is simply not ready and that is where newton school you know comes into picture and make sure that we are like bringing about industry oriented education which is cheaper which takes less time and make sure that students come out job ready so we'll just wrap it up over here and thank you so much thank you antika